Mariwa Ayodele begins a brand new decade spanning series starring old Shellhead, picking up from a short story from Iron Man issue 25 and getting right into a story spanning years, which finds Tony fighting a time traveling rocker and her stone giants. While the overall story will be spanning five issues, this first part really felt self contained and standalone, with a beginning, middle, and end, and Mariwa's way of showing rather than telling was brilliant, opting to rely on Doden Akan day's art to convey Tony fighting not just for his life but that of New York which he's ended up inadvertently destroying and is working to get back. The story could have easily used time travel as we've seen before in the Marvel Universe like Kang to get Tony back what he lost but I enjoy we actually got a new character out of this issue and an interesting one at that with interesting powers so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what other cool concepts and characters this team will be bringing to the table over the next four issues. Doton Akande's brilliant artwork does a lot of the heavy lifting this issue as I said previously, utilising space and page real estate super well. Doton's use of visualising sound effects was actually really cool and I like that it was sound effects that actually explain what is happening like the Iron Man suit falling from the sky so the sound effect is called fall and him slumping over in a chair is called slump. Usually with sound effects they're just stuff like crash, bang, you know the usual Adam West Batman sort of stuff. And and I like here that they were actually used to convey what is happening and it wasn't just you know someone in a speech bubble telling us oh no Iron Man has fallen from the sky we actually got it through the visual which is something that very rarely happens and I really applaud Doton and Mariwa going that extra step and using that sort of technique. I Am Iron Man issue 1 was a fantastic opening to the 5 issue miniseries, acting as an awesome, unique, self-contained storyline while hinting at some of the large scale concepts at play throughout the rest of the series. I am going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. I Am Iron Man issue 1 opens with Tony being envied by millions as a being speaks of Tony Stark soon being destined to become the most tragic figure on Earth. In the past, giant stone golems erupt from the ground with Iron Man who tells nearby people to run. The stone men smash Tony into the air and one grabs him, unsure of what to do with the hero. Tony doesn't think they know who he is, flicking his finger and unleashing an energy blast from his armor which blows the being back as Iron Man quickly takes down the others, cutting off their legs. One of the giants try to kick the hero but its leg shatters against his armor as Tony reminds the men he is Iron Man. The giant's leader, a woman with a strange guitar, appears strumming the instrument and causing her giants to reform, wanting to continue the dance with Iron Man. The giants smash Tony into a building, bouncing the hero through it, a car park, and into a movie theatre. Gravely injured, Tony demands to know what the woman wants, but she knows that the hero is dying, guessing that this is the era where Tony's armour is still keeping him alive. She tells the hero she doesn't have enough charge for this and it's no fun to see how Tony is dying for real, deciding to leave and come back later when he's sorted out the trouble with his heart and is in his prime. In the present, Tony tells a bunch of restaurateurs to vacate the area since it's not safe but one man doesn't really want to leave, thinking that Iron Man is just telling the people to leave so he can have the restaurant in private. Tony reminds the man that he's a billionaire and this place isn't really his idea of a nice place. The man eventually leaves as another Iron Man armor watches a pole dancer, the owner of the club coming by to see Tony, asking why Iron Man is there. Tony points out that the dancer has bruises and a few cracked bones but she dances like gravity has no hold on her. The man thinks that Tony breaks more than bones saving everyone inside his suit, however he's just got to make it look effortless like the rest of them do. Tony tells the man he has 5 minutes to clear out because something dangerous is coming. Tony's superior Iron Man armor Mimo helps an old lady, assuring her that he is needed there with her, but his actual body is elsewhere. The real Tony Stark Mimo asks his onboard AI Katie if she is picking up audio, knowing that the woman from years ago is back. Katie triangles the music that they can hear but the music shifts making it hard for him to narrow down however Tony knows it's above him. Suddenly Tony is smashed by one of the stone giants with his other armors all going offline and falling from the sky or slumping over in their chairs. The woman with the guitar proclaims that she has wrecked Iron Man as the news reports on the death of the hero. People talk about how today 
was apparently Tony Stark's birthday too, as in the future, Tony confronts the woman again, revealing that he knows her name is Jessica Benton. Jessica wants to get right to it, playing her guitar again and unleashing more giants. Tony runs at the monsters, using invisible platforms to stride up into the sky, as Jessica tells her giants to listen to Tony's thunderous footsteps as he gets closer and closer, since today is the day they meet the invincible Iron Man. Tony, using a high-tech giant armor construct, smashes the giants apart, confronting Jessica, who feigns being scared of the giant Iron Man. She plays her guitar again, spearing Tony with a sword. She believes she has finally killed Iron Man in his prime as Tony appears behind her, revealing that the Tony she fought was actually a construct, along with everything else in this destroyed world. Tony reveals that a cosmic flare was coming for the real New York, and to save everyone, he moved the entirety of the city into a pocket dimension. But the dimension collapsed before he could bring everyone back out, and he's been waiting for this woman ever since, because she has something he wants. Tony has a construct grab Jessica as he takes her guitar, figuring this is how she travels across time. Jessica tells him it won't work for him for what he wants to do, since she only has one charge left, and she knows Tony is going to use the last charge to bring the people of New York back from the pocket dimension before it was destroyed and killed them all. But in doing so, Tony won't be able to bring his family back, since he sent them to the pocket dimension far ahead of the rest of the city. Jessica thinks that the universe is punishing him for the one time he didn't choose to save the people first. Tony begins to cry, playing the guitar as he tells Jessica what makes her think that he won't just bring his family back and forget about the city. Jessica reveals that she is a New Yorker, and she hasn't faded from existence yet, and she also knows that Tony Stark is Iron Man, a real hero. 